What is up guys, welcome to the video. Now today we're doing something a little bit different to the EP3. Now we're actually drilling holes in the front bumper now. The reason being is because obviously I saw Luke's EP3 and it just looked really nice. And the thing is doing this, I know a lot of you are gonna say, oh my God, you're chaving it out. Oh my God, you're ruining it. Then some of you might say, actually that does look good. And does this car need the extra airflow? No, but in the future, I promise you it will. So what we're doing is we're gonna be taking my normal number plate off now i get asked so many times where i get my number plates from it's monster plates links in the description he's actually a good sponsor of mine he's been with me since day one so yeah i get them from monster plates and they're amazing what we're doing we're moving this number plate taking it off and behind here we're going to be drilling five holes to make it look a little bit race car a little bit modified looking and then hopefully we're going to be getting a static plate to stick on the side literally the exact same as Luke had his on his car and it, it just looked really good. I really liked the way it looked. And like I said, it's not gonna actually benefit the car much, even if any at the minute, just a little bit more airflow. Um, but in the future it actually will when we start doing engine upgrades, which we are doing, do not worry. It's just, I'm saving my money. <laughs> so that's the plan of action today. But first things first, we're not gonna touch the car. We're gonna fly to screw fits because we need to go buy the drill bit and something else for Chris, who is actually uh, doing the holes for me. Now Chris is a joiner. Uh, he's done this stuff before. So I'm, I'm, I don't trust myself doing five holes and making them all symmetrical. I just don't trust myself doing that. So we're gonna take it to Chris. He's gonna do the holes for me get it spot on and then we're going to sort the number plate out afterwards now the number plate that i was going to put on the static plate hasn't actually arrived yet so i'll be just sticking my original monster plate to the side for now and then installing the static plate probably at the end of this video when it comes so that's the plan of action head to screw fix get all the bits then what we're going to do is we're going to take this plate off and hopefully there's not all this horrible residue underneath but if there is I've got a heat gun and we can get busy on the number plate. The best bit about this as well, I know a lot of you might say, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't cut holes in the bumper. But the thing is, you can just put this number plate back on and the holes are completely covered up. So it's just kind of like another look you can go for without actually ruining the car. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's get to it. We're gonna head to screw fix and Courtney's car just to save moving them all around. Nearly at school fix, Lee's favorite place. Right, I need. So what we're looking for, is one of them bad boys and one of them bad boys let's hope they've got him or i'm screwed oh. gotta get something to eat to keep to keep princess happy here <laughs> so hopefully i'll get this done today but we're gonna go get something to eat now but yeah stay single boys stay single <laughs> Very nice. Alright, so the plan of action is take the number plate off. Hopefully, there's not all this horrible residue underneath. Um, now, I have pulled on my registration and loosened it just because I didn't want to break anything on camera and look an idiot. But take the reg off, get the glue off, get down to Chris as he finishes work at five, uh, and then get the holes drilled. If you're wondering what I use to hold the plates on, it's um, just double-sided Gorilla Tape. And it's good stuff, it is really strong stuff. So, okay, we're left with this. Now, it it doesn't look too bad, but it's like it's, like it's in the lacquer in a way. So we've got the heat gun, I'm gonna plug that in. I've got a little Stanley knife that I'm gonna be really careful with. If not, if I get a few scratches and it looks a bit rough, then I'll probably just end up putting all this in here in the registration like indent in black anyway. Uh, so it doesn't matter too much. And like I said, if anything goes wrong, you can do whatever you want under here and then just put your edge back on. Put your edge back on and no one's gonna know anything. So that's kind of the plan. Hoping this actually comes off and we'll see how we go as we go along. Okay, so far so good. It's actually getting it off with the heat. So hopefully it will come out looking like it has done here. But as you can see, it's like kind of mixed in with the lacquer. It's a little bit weird, but I'm going to carry on cracking on with this, try and get it all off and then we'll head to Chris's. I'm not going to bore you with the content of me taking all this off because it's pretty straightforward. You just heat it up, try and take it off the best you can. And obviously we'll give it a clean afterwards. But yeah, I'm going to go 
do this and I'll catch you when we head to Chris's. Okay, so I've done the best I can. From from afar, it looks okay. Uh, close up, you can see where there's obviously been a little bit of sticky residue or whatever, but it looks a little bit better. Obviously, when the, when the holes are drilled, these might not even show up anyway, so I'm hoping that it all goes smoothly as well. So we're gonna head to Chris's now. Obviously, I haven't got a number plate on the front. I've had to put it in the window, which I don't recommend doing. I just haven't got any sticky tape for here. But yeah, let's head to Chris's. <laughs> Holier than thou, yeah. There we go. Here we go, brother. This sick. That my one. car's in. My car's in bits already, mate. Why? What are you having done? Oh. Put yours there, bro. Said. <coughs> just there. Yeah, reverse it in, bro. I do, mate. So I only just realised this indent here is the same length of a plate that way, like lengthways, but not not from top to bottom so we're hoping we can make it fit it looks like it does but chris here's got a template already made up because he knows what he's doing see now why i brought it to him and didn't try it myself <laughs> that there should be back on that yeah sweet man just quickly as well, I'm going to walk over. This this thing's an absolute beast. If anyone wants to see it on the channel, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll ask Chris. But it's pretty cool. It pops and bangs like every Ford does. But this one, this one's next level pop and bang. Give Chris a shout out. Honestly, such a sound guy. Always helps Wes out and literally just jumped on board and is helping me out. Go drop him a follow on Instagram. Appreciate it like always. And this is the exact reason I'm letting Chris do it. Because like I said, I didn't trust myself doing it because I just, I'm blonde and I just don't trust myself cutting holes in bumpers. You're doing it. Right, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Fools with tools. <laughs> a man like Wezo hit this nail on the head because I know a lot of people are going to say this is pointless doing, but it's like, it is, it's 90% for looks, 10%. I've got to say it, it will let a bit more air in. So I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I don't care. I think it's going to look sick. Don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Just sat here talking about Wezo's tango. He's already drilled holes. He insured? <laughs> oh my god, he's going for it. Ooh. <laughs> Just like that, is it? <laughs> oh, I'm sat, I'm sat there thinking, bloody hell, he hasn't even lined that up, but he's obviously he's, he's put the holes in first, and that's got a. This is going to look quite cool, I think. Yeah, it looks Yeah. Keep up. <laughs> is that a souvenir? <laughs> oh, at least it got rid of the stupid, horrible gunk. Just leave your keys. Do you reckon I can hit that Astra? <laughs> <laughs> it's a proper drill, mate. Oh, it does look quite good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look away and get my live reaction on. on the... No, I can't actually see because I've got the camera pubes in the way. But where's this? Where's this saying it looks quite good? I haven't seen it yet. Does it look good, Wes? Looks all right, mate. Yeah, Does I'm, it? I'm liking it, yeah. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Is it done? That's it, bro. Is that it? Well done. That was too quick. Oh, it looks sick, man. Just looks like it should be on track, doesn't it? That's sick. Mate, why did he make that look so easy? <laughs> I'd have been there about half an hour lining it up, mate. That looks good, man. I like that. We didn't even know what we didn't even know what tools he's using. <laughs> the mind what he's doing. Just for the people at home, it was half inch into an inch. Half inch to an inch. We knew that. Yeah, we knew that looks that looks sick. I really do like that. I see that usually on a Friday and Saturday night. It does look good. And the thing is, I said I said to the channel as well. I said if if I ever did get bored of the look of it, I can literally just put the plate back over. Happy days, man. I love that. Yeah, there you go, sorted. <laughs> Have you got some Gorilla Glue or tape? Because I need to get that reg on that bumper. I'll say yeah for the camera. Yeah, and then we'll sort it afterwards off camera. Yeah. Sorted, love you, Wes. Even though I might be an owner of one season, you know? Yeah, you should be, mate, as you well. Never know. So you fucking should. Yeah, so obviously, for the people that watch me that have got, um, obviously, Honda Civic EP3s or whatever, Chris can actually do this type of thing. So if you do want anything doing like this, then drop him a message on Instagram. I'll obviously, I'll share his Instagram earlier, and I'll put his link in the description. If you don't want anything doing, just drop him a message. I'm sure he'll sort you out. And, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It looks good. And like I said, if I ever get bored of it, I'll just put the plate over it. 
and it's done. But I like it. It looks it looks really uh, aggressive now. So I gave the bumper a quick clean, and like I said, I've got a static plate coming tomorrow. Uh, so I've just, just got a bit of Gorilla Glue on this tape, and hopefully I'm going to stick it there. And fingers crossed it will stay for a day or two. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll just have to put it in the window, but fingers crossed. I've gone for it. I've gone for it. Yeah, it's definitely going to look better when I've got the short and static plate on there, but apparently I've been told that is legal as long as the plate doesn't go too far round the edge of the car so it can't be read from the front. I've been told it's legal, so yeah, when I get the static plate, it's, it's shortened as well, so it'll start about here, so I can actually start the plate there, so the plate should end around here, so it'll be a lot better and look a lot nicer, but... I'm really happy with that, it does look good, it really does look good. Like I said, it can be put back to normal anyway, I think I've said it like five times in this video. And I want you, to, I want you to let me know what you think, should I do this like indentation here in black? I'm thinking I should because I think it'll look a lot better than, uh, than what it does now in grey, but yeah, let me know and hopefully my plate arrives tomorrow. Peace man, enjoy your holes. See you soon, enjoy your holes. I, I, I've not shown him in the video, don't worry. Every hole's a goal. Every hole's a goal. Why did I know we were going to be, have to be an Asbo? <laughs> Chris, appreciate it man, it looks sick, love him. I'll see you soon. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be controversial. I really like it. I think it's unique, it's a little bit different. It's not the same as the next grey EP3 in line. But, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to uh, head home now and I'm going to head home now and wrap the video up. I just want to give two shout outs. One to Luke Hancox, thank you, because now I've got holes in my bumper, which looks sick. You know what I mean. And obviously Chris as well. Like I said, he's a joiner. He's good at this stuff. He knows what he's doing. He's got all the tools to do it. So if you do want anything like this doing, obviously he does it. You can do it to any car you like. Um, he's actually just got, he made a template for this one so he can do EP3s really easily, really quick. So yeah, if you, if you want this stuff doing, then just drop him message on Instagram like I said I'll put his link all in the description and he's such a great guy as well huge shout out to Chris appreciate it man yeah I'm gonna head home then we're gonna wrap the video up a year ago when I had my um when I had my SRI I would have said something like actually it feels faster but it doesn't it doesn't it's just some holes in my bumper okay all right not a very long video today but I thought you know what I'm um, doing something to the car I'll bring the camera along with me and film it for you guys yeah it will look a lot better when I get the plate so we'll pick the video up once I've got the plate on and installed the plate okay we're picking this video up a few days after I got the holes cut and what I did for now is I put one of my shortened monster plates on but the static plate has actually arrived so we're gonna have to take this off so we're gonna have to take this off and it's on with some really really good Gorilla Glue which I hope doesn't mess the paint up. Oh, we're all good. Okay. Right, I'll give that a wipe down in a second. So, a company on Instagram. Now, I am sponsored by Monster Plates, but for this type of thing, I, I don't want to be like bending a plate. Now, obviously, I've always rocked Monster Plates from day one on all of my cars, and I'll be getting it on the logo as well soon. Monster Plates do the best actual legal styled number plates i've known like i i monster plates huge shout out like i said i'm sponsored but a company called static plates have sent me this plate now this is such a unique idea and when i saw it i dropped him a message said look do you want to work together blah 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 and i'll obviously try and try and get some guys to to come grab a plate so for things like this, so say you want to put a plate on the side of your bumper, maybe on your bonnet, somewhere where it isn't ready-made for the car, if that makes sense. These are such a good idea. So what they've done is they've sent me over something called a static plate. And what this is, it's like, it's hard to explain. And this, this, this back isn't really that sticky, but from the videos and from everything I've seen, they just stick to bumpers. So... We're gonna install this and it's literally like a, a bit of foam with a number plate with obviously your registration on the front. Now these look friggin' epic and they've sent me a, they've also sent me some alcohol to clean the surface and a pretty sick 
microfiber cloth with their with their name on it so we're going to go install this now see how it sticks i'm hoping it sticks i've got quite good faith in this but i just don't see how it works it's pretty impressive so yeah let's install it <laughs> Honestly, 10 out of 10 for them. You literally, the best thing about these as well is you can literally just put them on, pull them off and put them on whenever you like. And obviously just make sure the surface is clean underneath. I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. I've got no words. That's, that's really cool. I really like that. I really do like that. That's definitely unique and it's such a good idea because obviously if you can just take it on and off at shows as well at meets if you don't want anyone knowing your reg or whatever do you know what i mean but i like them they just they just stick to the car it's so weird but no definitely 10 out of 10. so yeah huge shout out to static players go drop them a follow on instagram and drop a message if you are interested in any of this and then if you are interested in any just normal plates uh, obviously monster plates is the place to go to but they're really cool man really really impressed with them so yeah i think that's going to do it for this video uh i hope you did enjoy yeah like i've said a few times this what we did in this video isn't really a beneficial mod it's like 90 percent locks and for what it takes it does add a bit more airflow into the uh into the radiator or whatever but yeah i just thought it looked good so i did it and yeah if you did enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace